What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com. Welcome back to the previews. And boy, do we have a good one here that we're going to talk about in this video. We're going to go to Aqueduct up to New York, and we're going to go to Race 9 on their Saturday card. It's the Gotham Stakes, Grade 3 race, going one mile, 50 Kentucky Derby points to the winner. It's kind of awkward with Kentucky Derby points being on the line with this one-mile race because... You know, the theme of the Kentucky Derby, at least with the point system, is, hey, we want to award horses going two turns. But here we are for the one-turn Gotham. Kentucky Derby prep race or not, forget about that. Put that aside for a minute. It's drawn a field of 14 plus one also eligible. So 15 horses going to line up here. It's a hell of a betting race, uh, if not for anything else. Another just in, kind of an incredible thing about this <sighs> Out of the 15, if we count the also eligible, 13 of them, 12 of them kind of do their best uh, running on the lead or right near the lead. Uh, incredible. I mean, this is going to be a wicked fast pace, at least you would think on paper. Some of these horses are going to have to sit off. There really isn't a clear-cut closer in the race. Boy, you know, if you think of a horse maybe like a, maybe not at this distance, but a red route one who's just a dead closer and you know it. Boy, this would be the perfect race for him, but we really don't have a closer in this race. A lot of speed and stalkers. Anyway, I'm talking in circles. Let's go who I like here. I went with number 11, Slip Mahoney, on top in this spot. I This is a horse that is another one. He does his best running on the lead, but we have seen him come from off the pace and run okay. I think since he's drawn to this outside post of 11, he can stop the pace here and be pretty dangerous from this outside post. If they were going two turns, I really wouldn't like it, but one turn... With a lot of speed, I'd like to be on that outside. So I think the number 11, Slip Mahoney, is going to sit a pretty good trip. I do think he can come from a little bit off the pace and be okay. If you look at the race last time out, it was something really, really good. Right here at this distance over this track, there were 15 links clear. He beat Krupe by a head. They were 15 links clear of everybody else. Krupe did not come back to run all that well in his next start. However, it was a big step up in class. It was a big stretch out in distance. And it was at a different track at fairground. So... It doesn't really bother me that Krupe didn't come back and run all that well. I think Slip Mahoney's going to run very well. One other important thing to note, Tappet Trice is a horse I think a lot of people, including myself, have fairly highly on the Kentucky Derby Trail. Slip Mahoney nearly defeated Tappet Trice two races back at this distance at Aqueduct. So I really like Slip Mahoney. He will be the number one pick in here, the 11. Gotta love that name as well. Number 12, I put in second. That's Ray's Kane. You know, this horse has some class. He's been beaten by some pretty nice ones. Super Chow beating three uh, races back. That's a pretty good sprinter. Jace's Road, two races back. Pretty nice horse. Last time out, they tried the synthetic. That just wasn't for him. Draw a line through that one. His other ones have been pretty solid. He is the one that I think is a, a closer out of this whole group. And so that is why I've got him here in second. I, I think he's going to be pretty tough uh, from off the pace, and it could set up just perfectly for him. So I'll take the 12, raise Kane <coughs> in second. In third, he's choking me up. This is such a good field. In third, how about one more to the outside? Number 13, Ian Clover. This horse is two for two for Brad Cox. Coming in here, Florent Giroux has come in to ride. I don't like that all we've ever really seen this horse do is win gate to wire. That trip's going to be really tough. I do think he is the fastest of the bunch in the race so i think that's interesting i do think this horse could get out to the front maybe he kind of sets it up for slip mahoney or maybe he can just take him as far as he can and hold on for something but a lot of speed in the race worried about the trip but i and clover two for two i think he fits pretty well he's also won at oakland and at fairground so third race third different track it's nice that he's been able to win on on different tracks. I think the 13-9 Clover is going to play a little bit of a part here, and it is a positive that Florent Giroux has come in to ride. The other horse here is the number five, Carmel Road. You know, he does his best running on the lead. We've seen that, but he's come from out of it a little bit as well. I don't think he's going to be fast enough to get the lead today, which means I think he's going to come kind of from off the pace, and I think that's kind of what you're going to want to eventually do in here. I like the cut back to a mile. His best race came at a mile at Del Mar. So I think the five, Carmel Road, is definitely one you need to watch for as well. I've got him ranked fourth. All right, to recap it, number 11, Slip Mahoney on top. Number 12, Ray's Kane in second. Number 13, Ian Clover in third. You don't usually get a top three that says 11, 12, 13 like that. And then the number five, Carmel Road in fourth. All right, guys, can't say enough about it. This is going to be a great weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. We've got 15 horses into at Aqueduct. 
for, for a uh, derby prep. You've got 11 in Santa Anita. I mean, that is a miracle over for the San Felipe. And then you got Forte returning at Gulfstream Park. It doesn't get much better than this. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hit that like video if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Want to get alerted anytime we do videos like this. We're picking up subscribers, and we greatly appreciate if you're one of the ones that have subscribed to the channel. We, we very much appreciate it. All right, guys. I'm rambling. That's enough. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and good luck if you're playing Aqueduct on Saturday. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track across the country. We're ramping up for the 2023 Kentucky Derby, and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dudes' YouTube channel, like click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.